We honestly think it was the first time that they had crawled out of the den. They were way out of their lead. They were falling off of rocks and cliffs. We put them in a bin with a screened top with some rocks on it, and we put it out for three nights. If mom was around, she could hear them, and she'd be strong enough to lift the lid to take them. But nobody came. Meanwhile, I built this little makeshift section that they could play in out of cinder blocks and pieces of wood. A couple days after we had been home, one of their raccoons didn't make it. But thankfully, we were able to get Smokey back up to health. Raccoons need to be with others. So we became Smokey's playmates. No, the cord, not me. I turned my backyard deck into a giant playpen. The goal was to release him, so we felt it was important to keep him outside. He always needed to feel everything with his hands. He got into everything. What are you doing? Just like a baby, I gave him lots of toddler things. They need to feel different substances. We needed to teach him how to forage for food. I used to hide bits of food in between the deck or underneath something where he has to work for it before he can get it. We filled a bucket with water and we put in a bunch of minnows. He didn't know quite what to do with that. All of a sudden, in his brain, something lit like, wow, this tastes good. And then he was trying to catch them all the time. One day, he climbed up on the banister of the deck. He just slid on his belly all the way down. And that's when I knew that this little guy is ready to start climbing. We have a tree that is bent over. And we have put little pieces of wood on it so we can climb up. And I thought that would be the perfect place for Smokey to try his climbing skills. He really loved to climb. We brought him down to the river and we would spend a couple hours just letting him climb over the rocks and hunt for his own little food. The last thing on the list was learning how to swim. Smokey was kind of nervous. When he went in, he immediately swam right back. <laughs> Eventually he got used to it. Then I was like, I think he's ready to go. He can swim just fine. Smokey was with us for about three months. Fall was coming. He needed to have time to find his own den. We started making trips to where we were going to release him. We would go there for a little bit just to let him play around and get used to it. Then on release day, he was already used to the area. He hung around us for about an hour and then he started getting further and further away. It was very hard not to turn around and look back and call his name, but I knew that he would be happier. He is a wild animal and not meant to be a pet. He must be off and happy on his own.